Good evening, everyone. Today, my topic for discussion is modern classification of angle closure glaucoma and its relevance under the guidance of Mithun Tulsidas. First, before going to classification, a short note on angle closure glaucoma and a small video, animated video about the aqueous tumor dynamics, how it is formed and flows through the anterior segment and drains out through the trabecular meshwork. Here, trabecular meshwork, any obstruction in the trabecular meshwork leads to angle closure glaucoma. And the obstruction can happen at various levels. Firstly, the iris, pupillary block mechanism, pupillary block mechanism, which is the most common mechanism. Because of the pupillary block, there is an obstruction of aqueous flow from the posterior segment, posterior chamber to the anterior chamber, leading to bowing of the iris and closure of the angle. And next, at the level of the ciliary body. In few patients, the ciliary body is placed anteriorly, resulting in plateau iris configuration, thereby decreasing the space at the angle. And secondly, maybe due to any iris, ciliary body cyst, mass can also cause angle closure. And third, at the level of lens, primarily due to increased thickness of lens or anteriorly placed lens or with uh, increase in the lens vault cause uh, angle closure. And secondly, due to phacomorphic mechanisms and vectors posterior to lens such as malignant glaucoma, wherein the ciliary process rotates anteriorly, uh, leading to the misdirection of the aqueous into the posterior segment. And the aqueous, this leads to the iris lens diaphragm to move forward and thereby closing the angle. Hence, the angle closure is broadly classified into primary and secondary. First, coming to primary angle closure disease. It's an oppositional or sidical closure of the anterior chamber angle, constituting a spectrum of varied clinical manifestation at each stage. It is the leading cause of irreversible blindness in East Asia, with a prevalence of about 27.66 million in India. And it is further classified by International Society of Geographical and Epidemiological Ophthalmology into three groups based on three criteria. The first criteria is the iridotrabicular contract. That is, the angle is closed by the peripheral iris, which is oppositional, and it is identified by indentation gonioscopy. Uh, on, on indentation, the angle structures are visible. And second, secondly, the either increase in intraocular pressure or the presence of peripheral anterior sinicae. And the intraocular pressure is measured mostly by the applanation tonometry, which is considered as a gold standard. And the presence of uh, peripheral anterior sinicae is identified by gonioscopy. And third criteria is the optic nerve head status, wherein due to increase in the intraocular pressure, there occurs a compression of the on nerve fibers leading to glaucomatous optic neuropathy, which leads to constriction of the visual fields. Now, the current established classification is by the ISGEO, which based on those three criteria, divided the primary angle closure disease into three types, primary angle closure suspect, primary angle closure, and primary angle closure glaucoma. Coming to suspect in which the idotabicular contact is present in equal to or greater than 180 degrees angles and with normal intraocular pressure and no evidence of peripheral anterior sinicae and no optic nerve damage. And the uh, primary angle closure case, the ITC will be in equal to or more than 180 degrees with either intra elevated intraocular pressure or evidence of peripheral anterior sinicae, but no optic nerve damage. And in case of glaucoma, along with PAC, uh, glaucomatous optic neuropathy changes also will be present. And some of the drawbacks of this classification is it falls short of actually predicting the long-term outcomes. And there is no separate type for acute angle closure. And only three stages are explained. Therefore, no clear explanation of transitions between the groups among PACS to PAC and PAC to PACG. And Plateau iris syndrome is missing and biometry such as axial length and lens thickness are ignored. So because of these drawbacks, the, pre the present day clean practitioners have considered acute angle closure crisis and plateau iris syndrome as a separate entity. In order to include these into under primary angle closure disease, Aparna Rao et al. has put forward a classification, which I'm going to explain in further slides. Before that, uh, other newer imaging based classification because of the modern imaging technologies which has revolutionized the way we look towards the angle in glaucoma patients such as using ultrasound biomicroscopy and another one is ASOCD. Firstly, ultrasound biomicroscopy in which these following in one study by Shihota et al. Uh, he uh, compared these following parameters among subtypes of angle closure groups 
and they uh, they calculated trabecular iris angle and trabecular ciliary process distance angle opening distance at 500 micrometers from the scleral spur and iris thickness and iris lens contact distance and they concluded that these ang these angle parameters were narrowest in acute angle closure patients and the iris is thicker in acute angle closure patients compared to pac pacs and pacg patients and next anterior segment oct these are the uh, parameters those were considered in this study that is anterior chamber depth anterior chamber width anterior chamber area and volume lens vault and iris thickness at 750 micrometer from the scleral spur and iris cross sectional area iris curvature in this study also they concluded that these all parameters were narrowest in acute angle closure glaucoma patients and uh, lens vault is thicker and iris is also thicker compared to uh, pacs and pac patients and even though these imaging images uh, imaging technologies came go gonioscopy remains the gold standard and the proposed classification of system by aparna rao et al is an angle closure scoring system along with the above parameters they also considered blotchy pigments ang angle recess iris configuration and bowing lens thickness is to excellent ratio uh, by considering these all parameters this allows and accommodates every possible stage to explain and also it uh, helps in prognosticating the disease and it it gives an separate uh, entity for acute angle closure crisis plat such a, which it is the increase in uh, occludable angle with symptomatic uh, high iop and plateau iris configuration it is the plateau uh, occludable angle with central uh, in uh, central deep ac and plateau iris syndrome is a plateau iris configuration with deep ac central deep ac and uh, the occludability even present even with patent pi and this is the uh, uh, grading system scoring system based on the quadrant observed by the gonioscopy and severity of the damage of the various parameters and a short note on secondary angle closure disease which is divided with divided into groups with uh, with pupillary block or without pupillary block without pu with pupillary block are such as phacomorphic subluxated or dislocated lens myotic induced secondary closure posterior synecate and without pupillary block are further divided into anterior pulling mechanisms and posterior pushing mechanism anterior pulling mechanisms are due to contraction of the membrane such as in neovascular glaucoma iridocorneal endothelial syndrome inflammatory conditions due to contraction of the inflammatory membrane and post post penetrating keratoplasty uh, due to fibrous ingrowth or epithelial downgrowth and in posterior pushing mechanisms such as ciliary block glaucoma iridocorneal iridociliary cyst intravitreal silicon oil or gas induced cilio choroidal hemorrhage and scleral buckling thank you thank you dr swarna can you unshare the screen and answer the questions yes ma'am Uh, Dr. Suvarna, uh, see which, which is the uh, classification system that has been used uh, uh, in your institution? ICGO classification. Mm. And uh, 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 Dr. Uh, 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 Dr. Shihota is Dr. Ramajit Shihota. It's not a he, okay? Uh, oh. uh, 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 Dr. Vinit, please. Yeah, good presentation. Yeah. In, uh, so in one uh, in one word in which patient will you do a uh, peripheral iridotomy what are you doing with the peripheral iridotomy so that uh, peripheral you're treating, you're treating no. what treating i mean opening up the angle sir no. some space creating some space uh, to drain the you're treating a you you have classified it no secondary as you're treating a pupillary block uh -huh. that's all you're doing with a iridotomy iridotomy yes most common method yeah so you if you have a patient with an ice syndrome and pas or a patient with uveitis and a peripheral anterior synecate will you do a iridotomy No, sir. Synecolysis, we should do better. Yeah, but you won't do an iridotomy. 
Okay, sinicolysis also doesn't help in these patients. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good uh, presentation. So, which patient, uh, at what, uh, uh, do you know what, uh, which patient will you actually do a YAG iridotomy? And if you classified it as PAC, PAC, S, mm -hmm. a PAC, or a PACG. Yes, so, at PAC. what do you do an iridotomy? Therapeutic iridotomy in PAC and PACG are, uh, should be done, sir. And prophylactic only in few cases of primary angle closure suspect will be doing, such as fellow eye having developing uh, glaucoma or strong family history is there. Then only we'll do in suspects. Where there are risk factors, where there are risk factors of PACS, will you treat? Do you know what the ZAP study is? Yes, sir. Uh, only uh, not every patient is not required the uh, uh, PI in I mean suspects. Primary angle closure suspects, all patients does not require the uh, irid irid laser iridoctomy. Very good, very good. So they've done a study where they where they actually followed up the patient. This was study in China mm -hmm. and in, uh, mm -hmm. I think Singapore also. And they have mm -hmm. followed up patients, and then mm -hmm. they found that very few of these patients actually progress to a acute angle closure yes. attack. Yes, exactly. good, good, good presentation. Thank you. Sir.